What the frick is up, YouTube? It's your boy Connor IGL, and today we're back with another episode of Sky Factory. In the last episode, we were able to make our cobblestone generator, make our base, and uh, fortunately, we're able to make an infinite water source as well. So, what we're gonna be doing today is we're going to be perfecting our XP mob spawner, okay? So, we have a mob spawner. It's not really doing so well. It's not creating a lot of the mobs that we think should be coming to us. So, we're gonna find a way to, you know, perfect it, make it a lot better, and see how, uh, how well we're gonna do it. So, let's just jump right into the episode. Like I said in the last episode, we we're able to make our house. Looks like we have our water source still, and we have our cobblestone generator, which is like super nice to have because now I don't gotta worry about like making all these trees and stuff to get that. So, we have our little base here, and as you can see in our our uh, map up there, we have we have some people in there that they're fighting. Johnny Five and Ben. Is that a robot? I'm gonna have to fight a robot? What the heck are these dudes? So we got some zombies here. Johnny Five. I don't even know who that is, but apparently he really he really wanted to kill me. That guy is floating. There's just a bunch of robots in there. That's what's happening right now. What's going on in here? Who is that guy? That guy's got like a crossbow or something. He has a gun. <gasps> don't pull up, please. Don't blow up. Okay, you can back up. There we go. Okay, he's dead. All right, we're getting some more XP out of that. Is he an actual like? Like cyborg yeah he has a gun and everything look at him what are you doing bro dude he's got so much hp matter overdrive legacy edition oh he's dead now can i get that gun and this should be the last one he's almost dead come on come get me bro come on there we go there we go okay oh well, he's gonna kill me if i don't dude he's actually gonna kill me can he die who is that who is this person who are these people no all oh, my stuff your new item is was create wait what okay oh, so when you die it creates a grave and you have a key and you have to go get it what's with this pvp crap okay hang on we're gonna make a better sword here because apparently there's like actual other players or something i don't understand this what are you doing in my house back up Dude, that's so weird let's make a stone axe okay because we got to break this wood down see like this is the problem with my current base right now is it's not it's not ideal for mob slaying or anything like that so we're gonna figure out how to make it better um i think a good way of doing it would be like this crap door nope that's not a that's not a great way of doing it well that's good to know we had we killed a bunch of zombies we have two pet we have two rhyme flesh now and we got some string so we're getting string luckily we're doing that we're doing that for sure but i want to make it better it's it's okay right now but i want to make it a lot better than it is i'm actually going to modify my map all right so yeah, i was able to i was able to make it so the map in the top right i can actually see better now let's get some more cobblestone that way i can make better tools that's oh, okay there goes that piece well that's cool i think i'm gonna i'm gonna put this right did I actually just do that? Uh, I'm so dumb. Now I gotta get more cobblestone, bro. Frick. How much resin do I have? Do I have enough acorns? I don't think I have enough petrified acorns. Oh my gosh. So I gotta make more freaking cobblestone, dude. Unless I can... Dang it. I can get this piece. Like that. And that gets me two. And there needs to be four in there. I don't have any other pet... Dang it, dude. I'm, I'm stupid. I can't believe I put that there and blocked up my lava. Give me that. Put that... I just wanted it like that. That's all I wanted it to be like. Great. Now we gotta figure out how to get more cobblestone which is basically just me, me breaking more petrified saplings Ugh. all right there we go we got more trees grown now i just got to make these into more cobblestone and i gotta redo my freaking generator oh i'm so mad at myself honestly i can't believe i would have done that that's so stupid like literally one of the easiest things to mess up and i somehow mess it up still so it's that's great that's great at least we know that uh stuff's gonna spawn out by our thing now and hopefully more spiders spawn because i need cotton well, this tree isn't done yet gotta grow this tree out still there we go much better okay let's do this let's get some acorns out of this bag Bad boy and uh where's my crook do i have a crook still dude my inventory is starting to get full this is bad okay let's put some stuff away here i have a acorn i need to have eight of these acorns for me to make the amount of cobblestone i need come on there we go there's more acorns okay there we go got all the acorns we need now let's grab this where's the chest there's our workbench we need this we need this many we need a lot more than i thought frick yeah that should be two this is that four in total okay so if i take these now put them in here it should make lava and take my bucket there we go okay all right we're back on track now. Not even tripping. Vlog. We'll just place that in there. That should also generator. Nice. Now the point of this uh this thing being here is that it will hopefully like prevent it from landing actually in the lava like that. I, I'm trying to get the pieces before they burn. Okay, there we go. Okay, it looks like there's more mobs over there at the at the spawners. Let's go see what kind of mobs we got going on right now. Maybe one of them would be useful. Okay, we got more robots here. What's with the robots spawning out here? Hey guys. Oh, there's a bunch of creepers in there too. Not oh, great. Maybe I need to make like a mob spawning tower. No, one got out. Frick. 
Oh my gosh, there's actual like robot police here. Oh, you he killed his boy. He killed his own boy. I'm finding robots and stuff on my skybox. What is going on? Well, now I got to rebuild this out. I'm already here, so I might as well do it, you know? How can I do this? I'm going to have to like, yeah, yeah, I know what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to get a bunch of cobblestone brick to do how I want to, how I want to do it. And I'm going to need water too, which means I'm going to need to like pump on some trees. Dang, it's going to be a bit for me to do this. Let's, uh, let's just start breaking this stuff down because all this is going to have to come down anyways. Let's start breaking all this down and then we'll be able to start making in the spawner like we want to we'll do all this because what we want to do is we want to do a platform down here but we want to make a tower with water that way when or when the mobs are there and they spawn they'll fall down and die that's the hope here there's like i didn't why are there robots never would have expected robots in this like that's absolutely wild to me all right well i'll be right back i gotta i gotta go get a bunch of cobblestone so what are you guys? You got what are you guys doing here, bro? Oh, <gasps> dude, what is happening? Oh my gosh, the lava. It's spreading. My whole house is on fire. <gasps> dude, why did why I was literally just gathering all this cobblestone. Why is this doing this? Oh, I'm gonna have to use the cobblestone for all this. Stop it. Stop, 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 stop. Oh my gosh. Why did that spread like that all of a sudden? That was weird. Well, we're gonna have to use cobblestone for this spawner or for this uh situation now. I guess this is the a good time more than ever to reintroduce what's going on. All right, and a little while later, fortunately, I was able to get a lot of cobblestone i blew through quite a few pickaxes to do it we got some in fact we got we got quite a bit here we got all this cobblestone we have two pieces of string i don't know why those end up being in that chest but that's cool one thing we're going to do is we're going to get water a lot of this stuff caught on fire from the lava so uh it's actually a lot quicker than it was before it's a lot better a lot smoother it's good to go everything's fine i've almost cried a couple of times but let's not worry about that uh <laughs> now that we have everything we are going to organize a little bit drop some of the stuff off some of the stuff that we don't need well i can make bone meal now <gasps> i can make bone meal trees i don't think i can make string out of bone meal but that'd be really cool if i could is there enemies in here no okay uh anyways let's just uh let's gather some of this stuff let's start moving stuff over and let's start building some things that i realize that i need water and i need a bucket so when you have a bucket and you put down lava bucket like a like lava from a bucket and put it down it breaks the bucket i don't know why it's super weird like that but so let's grab some water really quick let that fill up and bazinga i should be careful because i could potentially Potentially die from this and I don't want to I just got to remember how I want to do it so I know I need to go this is where they're gonna land it would be it's gonna be a four by four pad so it's gonna be about that big so it's gonna be like that big of a pad this is where they're gonna land is right there which I'm gonna put these slabs here so that way when they land I'll be able to hit them from here because they're gonna land right here so like that and then we're gonna have to go up from here oh man it's gonna be a little oh wait I don't need to build these ones out I need to build the next layer up no that's those are the ones I wanted to build dang it yeah just like that now they'll be able to hit their head here but they won't be able to kill me that's nice so then we just start going up now we're, we're gonna have to go all the way up i don't know how high up i need to go i'm, hope, I'm hoping it's not going to be anything like insanely wild but it needs to be high enough for them to die when they hit the ground so we're gonna make it pretty high in the air that way they'll die <laughs> okay that's pretty tall i mean i would die from that i think i would die from that i mean in real life i probably would that's like that's like really tall we'll go up a little bit more that way we know they'll die because it's got whatever it is it has to be high enough for them to just like splat pretty much so all right now we go like this. This is going to be the waterway. Uh, let's do that. Let's break that bad boy. Because these are going to be the waterways that they're going to be coming down into the, the ground right here. We're going to do like that. Then like that. Yeah. And then they'll feed into that and then fall down and die. So let's see. We go one, two. Let's see how far out we have to go for them to hit the ground or for the water to be here without them like falling down. So I want to see. Oh, frick. That's not what I wanted. I'm going to have to extend a Patron on this a little bit here like that. There we go. Okay, so let's see. Let's see how far these go. Let's see. So that's still too close. So you see how it flows down too much? You don't want it to flow down as much. No, I just doubled up my water bucket. Brick. Grab the water. Grab the water. Oh, man. Okay, well, I'm going to have to take this down and get some more water in my spawner. Time to go get more water. Now I got to climb all the way back up there. Okay. All right, there we go. I got to go all the way back up my tower now. Wow. Okay, let's see. How can I do this without missing this up? I could probably just go straight up from here, honestly. That might be the best bet. And then I'll just like build down or something when I come back down. Oh, what the? F why can't I? Oh, that's why. Okay, well, we'll just go down the other side. Um, Like that. And then this side doesn't show. We'll just go up here. That's fine. Okay, so now, now clearly we have to go out further. We gotta go out a little bit further. So let's go, let's go out like four more maybe and then we'll see how far out that is like this okay bam bam and then we'll just extend these ones out like that same thing here and then let's get the water down and how does that work okay so that's just too short so we're we're two blocks short this should be good question mark let's see let's test it out 
Frick, I'm one short. Okay, that's fine. Yes, perfect. And it shouldn't flow. Nice. Okay. But now what we got to do is we got to count how far back was that? You know, got to see how far back that actually was. Oh, there goes that piece. Nine wide on the top. That's that's what we got to start counting. Then we got this way, that same extension. And the ninth one is where this goes like that. Dude, we're killing it. We're killing it on the spawner. Makes life way easier to have this. Okay, so now let's test this out. Make sure this one's good to go, right? That, it should be just short. Perfect. These guys are gonna die. <laughs> All right, that's nine. So now let's go out another couple rows. See, we're, this is actually taking up a lot less cobblestone than I thought. Uh, it worked a lot harder than I needed to. Perfect. Oh, it's turning night time. This isn't good. Their monsters are gonna start spawning up here. Crap, okay. This we just maybe test it? I don't know. I'll just put that there. Okay, so now we have an infinite water source. So I, got, I just gotta be careful of this gap right here. It's fine, because they're gonna have to they're gonna have to come onto this level anyways to fall down. Okay, I'm gonna put some I don't have any torches. Oh frick. Okay, well I'm gonna I'm just we're just gonna test this out. We're gonna test this out. We're gonna get these up here. We'll see if anything starts falling down at all. Cause it's turning nighttime. Stuff's gonna start spawning up here. So we gotta be careful. Frick, dude. This is sketch. This is so sketch. Oh man. Put there. Put that there. Okay. Whew. All right, so now how am I gonna get down? Brick, I just realized that I can do one thing of water and I'll do that, let it go downward and I'll pull it and then I'll take the water down with it. Uh, yeah, perfect. That should, yeah, I should make it fall. We'll break that. Then I'll close that back up again. Like that, And then we'll take these oak planks and what we can do, well, stuff should start spawning up there, hopefully. That's what I'm hoping for. But I'm gonna do it like this. So that way they can spawn there, but they can't kill me from there. So that's a f that's one block radius. I don't know if a spider can make it through that. Um, just to be safe, I probably want to do this. I'm trying to figure out how I want to do it. But if I just instead make it like this, that way when they land, yeah, that's good. And then we'll do it like, then we'll do it like that. Okay, because then that way I can get underneath it a little bit and then start hitting them from there. Perfect. Let's see if stuff starts spawning there. Because that's like the first part of the, the XPU spawner. It's like hopefully they'll spawn up there and then fall down and maybe die. If not, we're going to be in for a world of hurt here pretty soon. And stuff might try to kill us. But in the meantime, let's start working through our book and see what else we got to do. Let's grab our book here, advancement book, and let's see how we can make cotton trees. Which was bone meal, vines. See, I don't have bone meal. Or I do have bone meal. I can make bone meal. Oh, it's raining out there. Interesting. I'm wondering if that's going to play a factor right now for stuff spawning up there or not. In the meantime, let's make some bone meal. Let's see what's up. Maybe we'll make like six. If I take a dirt sapling, right? Grab some dirt saplings. Maybe if I do like this. See, it's just hard to know. If I type in bone, what if, what if I type in bone meal? What what comes up under bone? Be a bone block it is bone acorn bone resin. It's an enderman. Oh, an enderman was in the rain. <gasps> there is stuff up there. Stuff spawning up there. Okay. I don't know if it'll fall though. I want to kill this enderman. Hey, you. Hey, yep. Come on. Is he dead? Or is he gonna spawn up there again? I think he's just, yeah, he's just gone. Okay, let's see if I can get any of these guys to fall down. Hey guys, come on, come on, come on. Is there anything in here? There's nothing in there. I think I, I think they're not gonna go towards the ledge because I need to put trap doors, some trap doors down along the edges because that'll make them think that there's a floor there, but there's not, so they'll fall through. I think that's what I gotta do. Okay, I'm gonna have to do that next. How do I make a bone sapling? It'd be a petrified sapling with bone meal around it. So you just make a bone sapling. I'm so dumb. It's really just, okay, I'm, yeah, I'm mad, okay. That's good to know. We'll do that, and now we have a bone sapling. So then once I break this bone sapling, we'll maybe get more bones out of it, I think is how it works. And then I should be able to make cotton, right? Okay, there's that, there's this tree. I got more bone acorns, which more saplings should start spawning out of this. I need a crook, I need to make more stone rods. Look at us flying through this game now, like we know exactly what we're doing, kind of, not really, but we're killing this game right now. All right, let's look up how to make a cotton sapling. Let's do that. Cotton sapling is... It's still bone meal and vines. I don't have vines. I got bone acorns. What is bone bone resin and bone acorn probably makes more bones. Can you make cottonwood resin? You can't. Let's try and dry out each of these saplings. Not drying anything out. Frick, dude, what do I do here? Oh, you can make bone armor? What? This is wild. There's all sorts of stuff here. You can make a bone block. Okay, there's more stuff up there. Let's see if we'll get him get him to spawn. You guys gonna spawn or oh, dude, that creeper just died. He just jumped off. Anything else? Nothing else. Alright, yeah. We really need to make those those trap doors. That's gonna make a world of difference here. So let's make some trap doors. I don't know how much wood I actually have though. I have quite a bit of wood. Okay. We can make a bunch of those trap doors. Okay, so that's 64. That should be enough. I might make some more. I don't know exactly how many I'm actually gonna need. And it's turning daytime too, which is good to know. Who is that up there? Is that another Steve? Yo, fall down. Jump down. Come on. Oh, there's something in here. Something fell down here. There's a robot in here. Glad. GLaDOS, GLaDOS, got a phaser rifle. Can you drop that? 
Dude, what's with these robots, bro? They're scary sounding. <sighs> this is like stressing me out. So clearly our spawner works. I'm just gonna have to perfect it and make it better, but it's spawning stuff and it looks gorgeous. <laughs> It doesn't look gorgeous, but we're gonna have to figure out how to make beds and stuff and how to make cotton man I'm just I'm gonna I'm gonna go finish that 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 XP farmer I'm gonna go finish it really quick The problem is with being up here is I don't know like what I'm doing right and what I'm doing wrong Because I think I'm gonna need to utilize a lot of these trap doors and that should make it so they'll jump down But I'm not sure honestly I'm trying to make this even and it's not becoming even and it's like, kind of bothering me it might not be even i'm just gonna have to to face that fact that it might not be even it's fine it's why isn't even it ain't gonna be the prettiest uh spawner in the world but it'll be a spawner you know what i mean <laughs> and then we'll start building out the rest of the framework which should be the roof for the most part and that should be the wrap it should be the end of the spawner the xp farmer also now it's even why is it even now oh it's even oh i'm stupid it's done for the most part i just gotta finish up the roof down all right there we go boom okay now we'll just fill in the roof which I need more cobblestone. Uh, ooh, I wonder if I can fill the rest in with wood. I might be able to do that. That might make life way easier. Thank you, me. Taking a lot longer than I was hoping it would, but that's okay. Okay, go, before I go fill this bad boy in, let's let's see how these trap doors are gonna work. Can't be like that. This stuff's gonna start spawning up here. It can't go up, down. Oh, it's gotta go the other way. Oh, I'm going that way. I was turning nine time. <sighs> Gary as heck up here. All right, I'm gonna have to wait till the next day to, to start working on this stuff up here. <laughs> All right, I was able to hide out in a hole. It's daytime now, so now we can continue working on this. I don't know how I'm gonna make it so that way they'll fall into it because there needs to be trap doors here and they need to think that it's safe, but it's not. That's the problem that I'm having here. Okay, so I think I figured out the problem. The issue here is it's too too high. So when I go to place the things there, they, they won't be able to. The, the, the trap doors won't be able to. So I'm gonna have to fill all this in one level higher. <laughs> Ah, I need more cobblestone again. Wait, how much wood do I have? I could actually use wood. I'm just gonna use wood. <laughs> Hopefully this works. I'm hoping this works still. I'm gonna have to fill all this in with wood. Dude, it's gonna be a wood roof, wood floor. I don't think it needs to be cobblestone. I'm hoping it doesn't need to be cobblestone. I think it just looks cooler if it's cobblestone, but it doesn't need to be cobblestone. Just be filling in my base for the rest of my life, it seems like. Hoping that they will like the way that the spawner is and that they'll decide to jump off because they love it so much. Try to jump off and land down there and come say congratulations to me. AKA die. I found it horrible. <laughs> Coming out of my mouth. Okay. I should have enough to fill in the roof with as much wood as I have. If not, that's kind of depressing. I'm going to have to finish that up. And I just fell down here. Oh, I'm a bot. Oh. I'm already down here. No, not tile screen. Respawn. I'm already here, so I can grab more wood since I'm already here. And we don't have any more wood. Uh, I have to go get my stuff. My stuff is up there still. Dang it. So after some much eating and climbing, I ended up just like started building the roof after gathering my tombstone and getting a bunch of more wood. I just started building in the roof a little bit more. And fortunately, I was able to finish the floor too. Uh, I need to make sure I don't fall down there like a zombie because that's how they die. That's how a lot of these mobs are going to start dying is they have this upper layer now and they think that these trap doors are actually blocks when they're not. So they'll fall and they'll land in the water and they'll swing down to the bottom and they'll die. I'm hoping that this actually works because if not, then all this this was a waste of time and I'm actually gonna cry. All right, time to fill in the roof and then we're we're basically leaving this spot. I'm gonna have to die on the way down, but that's okay. The tombstone luckily holds a lot of my stuff and I really hope that this is gonna be the end of this XP farmer because this is taking me, I don't know, 15 years to do. Oh, I'm alive. Ooh, that's good to know. All right, time to wait until nighttime and then we'll see if this thing actually starts working. It should make it so we don't have to wait till nighttime to wait for mobs to start spawning. I'm hoping that we don't have to wait till nighttime because I'd really like to start killing stuff like right away. It's not kind of bad i'm gonna do this because that way if i do it this way then they'll land and then i'll be able to kill them from here from this little spot like this this little outlet right here they'll be i'll be able to they'll be able to land i'll be able to kill them from here different angles and stuff like that now they'll spawn they'll land on this little block they should die a little four by four block like that yeah we'll land on that platform and then that'll be a wrap for them yeah boom Dude, this thing is sick looking now all right i'm gonna start uh i'm gonna start expanding this out because if i start killing them but i get attacked i'm definitely gonna get launched off the side here and we don't want that <laughs> i i hope i hope you guys don't want that for me it'd be really rude yeah because now i'll be able to like boop boop and then just like basically hit them from any angle that i want all right let's see if stuff starts spawning or not and still starts i hate i hate these guys okay cool yeah so they're spawning they're dying and they can't see me so they won't blow up oh yeah it's working yeah he fell down okay that means that they're landing in the water and they're falling down he didn't die from fall damage though well, that sucks but that's okay it's working it's starting to work 
All right, a moth spawner works. It's official. It is giant. It is huge, and it is definitely off-centered from the rest of the base. But that's okay. I'm not. I'm not tripping about that. Honestly, I'm just excited for it to be finished and for us to actually have our mob spawner that we've wanted for a while now. So looks good. Our base is finally coming along. Our sky factory is coming together. We got our trees now. We got to figure out how to make silk. Still, I don't know how to make the cotton trees, but we're getting somewhere. So let's uh let's keep continuing on. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Make sure you guys click that video on the right. That was the last time I played Skyblock on this channel. That video on the left is YouTube recommend specifically for you. Make sure you guys subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace!